Hello and welcome to Arca at Myrtle Beach. We are the number three car here today. I believe that it split just once, so two splits, this being top split. And I've uh, got a couple familiar names in here. It's about 7 p.m. on Wednesday as I'm recording this, so at least it's not 2 a.m. Thought we'd get a little bit more participation though, having only split just once. Thought maybe we'd have some higher numbers, but maybe not too many people on this track. It's tough, I'll say that. Oh, I just got loose on the straightaway. That kind of messed me up, actually. Don't do that. That was a 19.9. Focus a lot. This thing is very hard to control. I think I might have gone too easy. Um, let's see, 19.7. Yeah, that wasn't my best. I can do better than that. I was hoping I'd get into the sixes at least. I kind of blew that. Oh. Very loose. I felt like I had a little bit more grip during practice. Maybe track temps are different or something. Maybe, you know, it probably less rubbered in, I guess. It's another thing. So, that's kind of, that kind of stinks. Not the best. Not as uh, good as I hope to do during qualifying. I was hoping for, like I said, at least to be in the point sixes, which would have had us in the top three. I barely made the sevens. So... That's all right, though. We will hopefully be able to maneuver. I'm not. I imagine the outside's probably not so good, but then again, it seems like you can carry a little bit of speed out here. I'm not sure. Did practice hold my line, of course, in the second lane. Let's hope I don't. Hit the wall. It seems pretty easy to hit the wall out of turn two. I think the car should get tight, even though it's real loose and on the right rear early on. It stinks. I blew qualifying a little bit. At least I didn't do that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, don't do that at all. Arca car always likes to really stick in the wall. Got Elmer's glue on both sides of the car. Gets you stuck there. Um, and now it looks like we're going to be on the outside. Sixth place, unless someone comes and takes it from us. A couple names I know, like I said, like JP. But a lot of names I don't know as well. So hopefully... We'll have a nice race. Hopefully it's a good group of drivers here. Guess I'll hop out. Ah, uh, we got someone that's not here. Alright, that's going to make us wait the full 125. But, I guess we're going to start 6th most likely, unless the 18 and the 23 still plan on putting laps in. The 18's got one lap in. There, there's the 18 second lap. And the 23, I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're AFK at the moment. Restroom break before the race, but... Um, it's another short track. Feels like there's been a lot of short tracks lately, making me grip the wheel and... break my hands. <laughs> That's my own fault, of course, but... Um, That's alright. Tough combo. Gonna be a little bit stressful for me, but... Um, I'm gonna just try to keep it clean. Hopefully I can get a top 10. I think that's kind of what I'm looking for here. That should be fine. And uh, But I will not complain if I just have myself a 0x race as well. That would be just fine. So. Let's see how it goes. This track is a little tricky. Side by side. Because you see like the lines on the track here. They don't really mark the lanes perfectly. It kind of like 
crosses the, <laughs> the beams a little bit in the middle, crosses the lanes. So you got to really be careful. That's the end of the session. Now another thing is, you know, we've got a little bit of room on this track. It's not, you know, we're not at South Boston or anything, but it is a short track and there are still no cautions here. So we'll have to think about that. In fact, I'm going to put my brake bias up a little bit. Just in case I have to get on the brakes, I don't want to spin myself out. I don't know if I needed them all that far back anyway, but hopefully I don't regret that. Session last lap ready. We did, in fact, qualify sixth. And uh, we'll figure out soon here what gear we need to be starting in. Probably second gear. I imagine first gear is probably pretty short. We'll find out. And 40 laps here. That's probably pretty quick. Quick little race, I imagine. 20 second laps means about three laps per minute. Seems pretty quick. So hopefully everyone rides up. Oh, I ask you, you shall receive, I guess. Hopefully everyone readies up, I say, and then everyone readies up. So, don't think we're going to finish top three here despite being the number three. Being in uncomfortable territory. Make sure I don't hit any of the bumps there. chat open yes okay might be useful to hear someone call something out potentially you know someone saying oh big wreck in turn four or something that'd be nice to know might have to watch out for wheel spin if only just even when we get up to speed a little bit more because as you saw in qualifying on my on the cold tires coming through to lap one got a little bit loose uh, even just getting on the throttle so just uh, something I'm going to have to keep in mind. We'll uh, keep it close here. Oh yeah, and the pace car pulls off real soon. So the leader can go any time now. It's going. Hey! The load got a little close to us. Made me a little nervous. I'm holding on out here. Going a little hard. Make it stick. Oh, that guy does not make it stick. Oh. No. Well, hot dang, we just passed some guys on the outside. How about them apples? <laughs> Nobody says that. I think only like 78-year-old people say that. <laughs> How about those apples, he said. Commentary always gets weird <laughs> at these short tracks, because I can only use about 2% of my brain to think thoughts, because the 98% left of my brain is being used to not wreck my car. So, uh, not a bad start though. Gonna start sixth and gain a couple spots. We got JP in front of us. The guy behind has just done a 20.0. Oh, we got a potential uh, chicken streaker alert with the highlighter car. It's like that highlighter yellow. Uh, he does not look like he's getting out of the way too well. There he goes high that time, though. It's kind of like taking multiple lanes in the corner, and that's making me a little bit nervous. Motor 
Okay, get around him. That's good. Gosh, my hands hurt already. Go figure. I have to really learn to not grip the wheel so tight with these tense short tracks. It actually does affect my performance by the end of the race. Uh oh. Car stopped ahead. Oh, I see him too. Are you kidding me, dude? Okay. We'll get around him. We're fine. We're fine. You've just done a. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, don't hit the grass. There's like three blades of grass in that corner, and I managed to hit all three of them there, I think. Well, that was a 20 .2. That's always funny to me, that the, the grass there in three and four, it's like, that landscaper has a really easy job, because there's literally like three blades of grass down here. Then again, I'm sure it gets run over every race they do here, so they have to replant the three blades of grass. Time was at 20.1. That might be frustrating. Those blades of grass have a very tough job. But, speaking of, let's talk about racing maybe instead of whatever nonsense I just came up with. Uh, we have got about a two second gap behind us. I love having that. Um, of course, ignoring the uh, lap car who I hope will be very kind to us and not try to pass even if they are suddenly faster. Um, maybe the tire's getting a little warm now. Gotta maybe hit the brakes a little harder. Pick up to I'm pointing in the right direction at the end of the point. Okay. Yeah, these laps feel like they're going super quick. Already approaching halfway. Yeah, we still got a little bit before halfway, but... Don't hit that wall. I'm getting a little bit too close to comfort for that wall. The way it sucks you in, even the lightest wall tap can make you assimilate with the wall. Become one with the concrete. I'm seeing some things I don't like up there. It's a lap car kind of getting out of the way of a lead lap car. Might have some less experienced guys in here, given it only split in one time. Not sure, I don't have like the race lab stuff where it lets you see everyone's license and uh, I rating during the race. Though that would be useful. Okay. Oh, don't bounce off and kill me. Okay. Well, JP got, in, got into that guy because he got loose or something. Hopefully it didn't damage him, it looks like he's fine. That car is uh, a little sketchy here today, though. We have entered the chicken coop, and they are streaking. <laughs> oh god, there's like, smoke. That guy is sitting on the apex as a popped engine. What are you doing? Get on the apron, my dude. Maybe he couldn't. I couldn't really pay attention to how much apron room he had there, but... Captain Phillips in front is now 1.1. He probably did the best he could. So, just another lap car. 24. We will maneuver around here in a moment. We've uh, gained a little bit behind us still, so don't have to worry about that. Give that a momentary check. Make sure I'm not losing time. And uh, this is treacherous. I can still loop this thing any moment. Just to make sure not to get he too heavy on the, the on that far the right pedal. We're halfway home. We're okay on fuel. Go high. Cap two. Phillips ahead is now. All right. Loosen your grip, Colton. Loosen your grip on the wheel. Driving off player, if you keep holding me up, I'm turning you. 
That sounds bad. You've been holding it up, bro. Yeah, I would hold you up, man. Thousand I rating, man. Don't expect anything. Thousand I rating still should be able to move out of the way. Like that guy. That guy was great. See, that was awesome. Look at that guy. That guy knows how it is. Okay. You know, this is pretty fun. Um, I like this track. I kind of like how you can kind of, you know, drag the brake into the corner. I like that kind of style. Racing. When it comes to like, short tracks. Kind of reminds me of Richmond a little bit, the way you break into those corners. I think this is the guy... The guy behind us is the is guy. Is there a reason for that? I was maybe holding up a lead lap guy, so I hope he races me kindly. Oh, oh wait, no, it's not. He's still the nice guy behind us. Oh my gosh, we got angry people at Myrtle Beach here today. Just off the head. Outside. Okay, car stopped ahead. This is pretty messy. Outside is clear. Little worrisome out here today. Let's get to the this, this the end of this one in one piece. Why don't we? You're reeling Phillips in the gap is one point eight. Looks like we got some lead lap guys getting held up pretty bad right now in front of us. Time was 20.5. Yeah, we got some. That guy's not getting out of the way at all, it looks like. Oh my gosh. Hey, what was the point of that? I'm not the guy that wrecked you, you hit it! I'm not oh. the guy that wrecked you! Holy, that's the most angry I think I've ever heard somebody. Got the sin. Got the sin. Got the sin. Oh my god. Okay, Colton, the next car is Phillips. That guy has had a bad day. I'm so sorry. I was not the guy that wrecked you. I was behind you whenever that happened. I was way behind you. So you purposely take out two cars Just during one race. Nice. Well, uh, I just hope that the people intentionally wrecking are appropriately protested. So we can go on with our lives and enjoy a nice, prosperous. Left to go. I don't know what I'm saying. Please don't hurt me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so scared. We are alive for the moment. Yeah, I'm probably going to protest that any car. My ears this protest his screaming a little bit, but I get it. Really probably pretty angry. You've just done a 20.6. Okay, I'm just going to go Oh man, we're coming down to the end of this thing. You know what? For as scary this has been, it's been pretty fun actually. This track is kind of great. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I've ever done... I think the only time I've ever done Arca here was for the hosted race Nick did a long time ago. Maybe like... The, I think it was maybe the second hosted race I ever joined of his or something pretty early on. And uh, I've improved a lot as a driver since then, I think, and gotten more confident, I think, definitely, since then. So maybe it's that little bit of previous experience that's helping me out here. I feel like, uh, feeling pretty good for a short track. You know, I expect the worst heading into a short track. I expect to lose a billion spots. And, uh, actually move forward. I can still get wrecked here, but I'm happy with how this has turned out. For now. 
And I think I still will be, even if I do get taken out. Speaking of taken out, that guy's pinching JP pretty closely there. I'm being given by lap cars, but... Probably, I imagine most are trying their best, if not all of them trying their best. It's tough to control. Inside 15, take it. Your lap time was 20.7. Sometimes it feels like I get in a groove and I start actually gaining some time, but... Like a little bit of consistency, maybe. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe I don't have very much speed, but at least I can hit some laps. I actually don't even know. <laughs> probably a little bit of both. I could probably improve in a lot of ways, but... I think we don't need to come pa Oh, I was going to say we don't need to come past this guy, but then he drove the wall a little bit, and now I'm closer than I was to him. Uh, JP maybe going to try to pass? He's... Kind of close to the guy in second. We'll see if... Looks like maybe he ran a little wider. A little wider to set up a run. Maybe he's looking. Sure. Doesn't quite have it. You're just going to coast the line here. Get some space. E4. Okay, that's the end. Good finish, mate. Well done. <clears throat> Chicken flag, chicken flag. All right, that was that went pretty well, actually, Good job. for how scary that was. <laughs> All righty, gonna find a place to park, probably up here. I was gonna pull it in the pits, but there's some guys sitting there. So, all right, had some people screaming, <laughs> but we got ourselves a top five. I actually got closer to finishing third than I thought I would. I thought I had no chance. I legitimately was like, you know, if I finish 10th, I'm good. But instead, got the top five with a 0x, was able to avoid some sketchy moments. 92-93, so we were pretty good to the tires, I think. I am happy with that. I will take it every day, all day, today. Good stuff. All right. We'll take a look at the incidents. And, uh, apparently there's at least one intentional wreck in here of the wrong person. That's always fun. And by that I mean, don't ever do that, please. For the love of God. Lap 1. Seven really coasting it. Oh, they are having an equipment failure or something. Damn, it was you, Armand. You're a piece of shit. Oh, no, they were damaged. Because somehow we didn't see this. Oh no! The really uh, kind lap car, <laughs> the 5, became a lap car by spinning up the tires. Oh no, the whole inside line had their race almost immediately ruined. So 7 cars is broken, that's why he was up into the wall. I thought he had a real life equipment failure, not eye racing equipment failure. 11 self spins, very easy to do. Unbelievably easy to do. Up seven. Well, I mean, you can't really be mad at someone else. If you're the one in the wall. He's talking about, like, oh. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, you gotta... <laughs> you gotta not hit the wall, man. I don't know what... No, they, they figured it out, whatever. <laughs> and he doesn't hold his brakes, rolls around a little bit. About 12. Gotta get a little loose. A little bit of blinkies. Oh, yeah. I remember, I think I saw this. Because this was right in front of me, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, it almost looks like the 19's trying to get out of the way, but he lifts off in the middle of the straightaway. and 
Yeah, that was weird. It looked like the 19 was trying to get out of the way, but instead he just slowed down right in the guy's path. So that was just a weird way to do it. That's actually really nice to see. They, like, talked about it. And we're fine. That doesn't always happen. So, uh, let's have a little bit in the wall. Uh, 12, a little bit on the wall. Uh, 12, a little bit on the wall. No. I'm watching the 8. Ba -ba -ba. What happened to the 8? Did they get hit? Sure did. I got run over from behind. 19, leaving the pits. And... Oh my god, those poor turtles. They're being run over. They're okay, they got heavy duty shells. And then he's taking the... Where are you going? Interesting. So the 8 returns the favor with someone else. <laughs> so someone turned the 8 earlier, and then the 8 did what that person did to them earlier to someone else. That's weird. That almost sounded intentional. It was. Why is that? Was it even this guy that was... Like, this wasn't the guy that was screaming. But I think this guy... Maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I might be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure the this guy isn't the one that was... The 10 wasn't the one that wrecked the 8 before, was it? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. No, it was a 14. So, why did this guy seem to intentionally wreck a different guy? That's interesting. Um, now we gotta zoom forward a little bit again. Sorry. So, that was definitely intentional, it looked like. Oh, man, I broke it. Darn you, me. Yeah, this guy hunts down this guy, and it's the wrong guy. I don't Unless something else happened I didn't see. Intentionally wrecking is stupid, but it's another special kind of stupid to intentionally wreck the wrong person. And apparently it happened multiple times, because someone else was yelling about it later. It was, uh, this guy. So how did he get wrecked, and by who? Is this guy just out here wrecking everybody? And not even getting the right person the whole time? Oh my god. I hope this guy never enters a race again on this service. Oops. Hey, for anybody that's still here, please consider protesting the 8 car. I'm watching the incidents, and he's intentionally wrecked multiple people that didn't even wreck him. He's just misidentifying people and intentionally wrecking people. I just don't want to see him on a track again. I noticed we have some people still here. So. That is not even... I have to remember to protest this guy, because that is ridiculous. I don't want to be like the, oh, big-time iRacing police, but Jesus. What was that about? But I guess incidents are broken, unfortunately. I went through them too fast trying to catch back up. Um, we'll take a look at the rest of my race and what I saw and maybe identify some things. It looks like that guy just self-spawned. Yeah. So what else did I see? Not much else. It's uh, We had some lap cars holding up lead lap guys. A little bit. But they figured it out, and at least they weren't intentionally wrecking them. <laughs> yeah, 
And uh, we finished right behind him, so we didn't have to worry about getting around him. So, that went pretty well. Not for everybody in the race, thanks to the 8, but pretty well for us, but much better than I expected to do. Got ourselves a top 5. JP had a good run, and uh, I will take it. So, it seems like a lot of people got wrecked too. Like, this guy got intent wrecked and still got a top 10, so it seems like a lot of people had trouble at some point. So, that's interesting, but... Alright, that'll do it. We got some shouting <laughs> in this one um, I can see why he was mad though uh, I'm gonna go hopefully prevent this guy from coming back maybe a couple people will protest him and he can uh, take a nice maybe permanent vacation if we're lucky but that'll do it sorry to end it on a negative note let's end it again by saying I got a top five on a short track heck yeah <laughs> thanks for watching see you next time have a good one.